You're not afraid, are you, Lucy? I'm not afraid, Daddy Chris. Ah, uh -huh. we'll lose them this time. can't ask too much of old Prince. He's carried the both of us a long ways. But with you alone on his back, he'll run like the wind. You want me to go alone? Yes, honey. It's the only way out. Oh, don't worry about me. I'll be all right. You go to the second bend, and there you'll hit a circle canyon. Understand? But just the daddy. And when you get to Bud Moore's ranch, tell him I sent you where I am and that I'm needing help. Goodbye. Just tracks, boys. Let's go. What happened to the kid? I bet she got away on Morell's horse. Come on. Looks like I've been outsmarted again. Yeah, and there's gonna be a bunch of sore feet before we get out of this country.
I'll have the boy deliver those goods at the ranch. All right, Mr. Norton. Anything else you might want? No, I guess that's about all I can think of. You haven't seen anything of my nephew, have you? No, ma'am. I've been robbed. Who done it? Man with a black checkered shirt and a black mask over his mouth. What's going on around here? Sheriff, they robbed the express. Get your horses, boys. I'll go in and investigate.
Feeling better? Yes. Guess I must have passed out. Oh, you'll be all right. So you see for yourself, I've got to turn you over to the sheriff. But supposing I refuse to be turned over? Remember, I got the making. <laughs> I guess you've got me then. But seriously, you've got the wrong man. Then how come the checkered shirt and the black hat and the mask? Say, if I knew who owned these things, I'd know who robbed the express office. You mean those clothes are not yours? That's just what I mean. And you expect me to believe you? I'm praying the good Lord you will. Suppose I did believe you, what would you do? First I'd see that my little girl was safe. Then I'd find the man that owns this shirt. Where'd you send your little girl? To Bud Moore's ranch at Circle Canyon. Bud Moore? Yeah, me and him used to ride herd together in Texas. You know him? Bud's my brother. Your brother? I meant to say he was. Why, I... I don't quite get you. Bud dead. Gee, I'm sorry to hear that. Bud was my best friend. He was killed in the range war last year. We lost the ranch. I've been homesteading since then. That is, my nephew and I. Gee, that's uh, tough. Oh, it isn't so bad, after you get used to it. Did Bud ever mention me, Chris Morrell? Chris Morrell? Why, he used to say you were the best buddy a man ever had. Guess that's putting it pretty strong, ma'am. Clara, let's go up to my place so I can get rid of that shirt. There'll be a lot of people looking for it. Yes, ma'am. Uh, I mean Clara. You think of Jim Moore around here today? No, oh, no, no, Vic. I ain't seen him. Who's that? Get in the house. Is this a Moore Ranch? Well, it was, but it ain't. Well, where can I find Bud Moore? In a place that's plenty hot, I hope. <laughs> but I gotta find him. Oh, never mind. As long as you're here, you'll make yourself useful, understand? But I've got to find Mr. Moore. Daddy sent me to see him. He's gonna take care of me. Uh, we'll take care of you, all right. Hey, Mac. Here, just kick and help you've been hollering for. I don't want to stay here. Ah, uh, go on. Come on, kid. What's your name, kid? Lucy Morell. Lucy Morell? And your dad's name, Chris Morell? Yes. Do you know him? Know him? Why, we were together down in Texas. But why didn't he come with you? Well, Sam Black and his gang were after us. We only had one horse. 
Oh. Well, don't you worry, little one. We'll send for your daddy just as soon as we can. As I was saying, Lucy's mother was a full-blooded Osage Indian. She married a white man who was no good. He left her two months before the kid was born. What happened to the mother? Oh, the mother died. Poor woman. Now you're all fixed. Thanks. It's only a little flesh wound. Your arm may be a little stiff. Funny, it feels all right. I guess I lost a little blood. That's what made me pass out. What brought you out here? to a doctor legally. A few months ago, they stuck oil on the property of mother. Recently, I heard a worthless father was hanging around this country. I came out with Lucy to find him. But the Sam Black gang has been following us, trying to take her back. The rest you know. How interesting. I certainly would like to meet her. Yeah. Hello, Clara. Mr. Morrell, meet my nephew, Jim. Hi. How do you do? I'll get you some coffee before you go. Thank you, Clara. So you're the young fella Clara was telling me about. Bud Moore's adopted... Uh... What if I am? Oh, nothing. That's your shirt back there. I came to a few moments down at the lake when you switched it on me. Well, why don't you tell her? I have my own reasons. And in the second place, a snake like you always dies of its own poison. Yes! Nothing. Uh, Jim was showing me a trick with his gun and dropped it out of his hand. Jim, you should be more careful with guns. Yeah. Jim. Well, what do you want? Aren't you going to have something to eat? Well, why can't you stay? Oh, I've got business to attend to. Jim, what's the matter? I don't want anything to eat. But, Jim... Well... I'm going out. Pay any attention to Jim. He's all right. Oh, that's all right. Bud and I brought him up from the size of a grasshopper, and sometimes I don't understand him. Well, some men are like books written in a strange language that's hard to learn. That makes it pretty hard to read them. I hope I'm not wrong in reading you, Chris. Well, I, I guess I'd better be going. Aren't you going to have your coffee? Oh, I I'm getting forgetful. Thank you. I 
I'll walk to your hearth with you. All right. As soon as I find Lucy, I'll be back. Be careful. Don't worry. That don't they? Ain't it pretty? <laughs> yes, sure is. <laughs> she rode in here looking for Bud Moore. What's your name? Lucy Morrell. Lucy Morell? Yes, Miss Morell is my father. How come? Vic made her stay. Now, Lucy, you run on into the kitchen. I didn't know Chris was a squaw man. He ain't, another. What do you mean? She ain't his kid. She's yours. How do you know? Chris and me was there when she was born, and two days after, when your wife died. Say, kid, I want to talk to you. Where'd you say this Chris Morell was? Well, he sent me here for help. No one would go. Oh, don't worry now. I'll be looking for Black and his gang. You keep your eye on that Chris Morell. Leave him to me. All right, I'll see you later. Wow, my feet hurt. Mine too. Oh, shut up. Boy, they're sore. Well, it's your fault for letting that Morell fella stampede our horses. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's the sort. My dogs are my jaw. Well, if your dogs ain't, they're gonna be. How can you tell? I just got a swell idea. You're going to the nearest place where there's a bunch of horses. And hoof it, too. That's the stuff, Slim. You go get us horses. And don't come back without them. I don't know where to get any horses around here. Well, you go get them anyway. I don't see why I should go. <laughs> well, I guess that's the last we see of Slim. Good riddance. That dumbbell never was worth anything. Yeah, but what are we going to do in the meantime? We're going to do the same as Slim. We're going to look for horses, only we're going to do it at night time. <laughs> yeah.
Them there horses. Whose horses? Sam Black and the boys. Sam Black? That's the fellow I want to see. Where is he? Come on, we're camping right over here. Get on this horse. That's Slim and the horses, all right. But who's that with him? Told you I'd get these horses back. Sam Black? That's me. You're after a half-breed girl named Lucy Morell. You said it. Well, I got her. What's the idea? I'll exchange for cash. How much? Five thousand and... Uh, What's the end? Chris Morrell's scalp. Where will I find him? Somewhere at Homestead. I'll show you how to get there. I'll do it. Good. Now you get rid of Chris Morrell and bring five thousand dollars cash to my ranch and I'll turn the kid over to you. I'll show you how to get to the Moore homestead and from there to my ranch. Here. You go down this draw, the fork. You take it across Prickle Canyon. And you go right on down to... Can't miss. Well, I'll be seeing you. Come on. Mm -hmm. Find Black? Yep. Made a deal with him. Am I in on it? Sure. By the way, where'd you say you hid that money in the express office? In the oat bin in our barn. Oh, yeah. Hey, let's take a little ride over here, will you? Sure. Jim. Vic, Vic did it. He made me rob the express office. Get the money. In my bunk, under the mattress. Don't, don't tell my aunt about my stealing money. Tell her I, I got paid off and my own kind of money, Matt. Phony money.
Hiya, Matt. <laughs> I'm glad I found you. <laughs> Me too, you old coffee cooler. <laughs> you better keep a riding or the sheriff is going to get you. Why, you old greasy spoon. <laughs> Where you hanging out Up at? Up the bird's ranch. Used to be Bud Moore. Yeah? Is Lucy there? Yeah, and the dad too. Her dad? Yeah, come on. I'll tell you about it on the way. Come on. Where's Chris Morrell? He's gone over to the bird ranch. I was going right over there myself. Pete, look inside. You might be lying. There's nobody in there. Well, we'll look anyhow. So you're on your way to the bird ranch. You might as well come along with us. Ain't nobody inside. All right, get on your horse. What do you want with Chris Morrell? Never mind. Come with us. When was the last southern of Turkey? Turkey? Yes. Well, now let me see, kid. Why, here it is. That was a bird. all this foolishness. Come on, get out of here. Why, Vic, she's my kid. My kid. I just found it out. <laughs> well, she's worth 5,000 bucks to us. What do you mean? I told Sam Black we'd turn her over for that amount. I can't do it, Vic. I've got to keep her here. Change your mind, Tom. Hey, Mr. Tom, there's two horsemen coming. Tom. I'm not fighting again you, Chris. Matt told me everything about Lucy. All right, in the house.
win the match. That bandit sure made a clean getaway. Checkered shirt and all. How about that ranch? I bet Vic Bird knows something about that. Say, he might at that. I've got an idea. I think it'll work. Hey, Morrell! Trade you the woman for the kid! How about it? Matt, they got Clara. Hey, you fellas! You deep! Trade you the woman for the kid! Did you get it? This is Chris Morrell. How would you like to trade me for the woman? Come on. And we'll send the woman at the same time. Chris. Got any shells? No, I'm clean. I'm out too. I know where they sound. There's only one left. Tell you what we'll do. Remember the Douglas fight? Sure I do. Let's try that again. Good. Good luck, Chris. Hope it works. Hide there. I'm going to send you out. And if you open your mouth, I'll shoot morale. Now get going. Chris. Yes, Tom? I know I've been a rotter all my life. And I want you to know that I appreciate everything you've done for Lucy. And I don't want her ever to know that I'm her father. All right, Tom. Somebody got morale. Come on, we'll rush him.
be upstairs. I said up. Matt. Daddy Chris pulled him with an empty gun. you fellas. Wait. Goodbye, Chris. Goodbye. I'm off to Wyoming. You and Clara take good care of the kid. I will. I'll take charge of these men. Move on. Jim went to Chicago, didn't he, Matt? Sure did, Chris. And now that Jim's gone, you'll need someone to look after your interests. Sheriff, these men attacked at the range. Oh, so that's it, huh? Well, I reckon they had something to do with the robbing that express office. So Vic's dead, eh? Well, I'm sorry, man, but I'll have to take you in for the hearing. I've always wanted a mama, Daddy Chris. <laughs> 